So here's a big reveal. Look at that. Is that a beautiful fender? That's not for a 1985 NC2 model, is it? No, that's a 1984. Uh, Let's see, until Ken's garage paint shop gets opened up this spring slash summer, we're going with this bodywork. I happen to have a set of bodywork. Uh, it's all paint. There's no decals on it. This set happens to have a solo seat tail cowl. It's missing the grommets and it's had some repair work done right there and in this area. I don't know if this side was repaired also. It might have been. So I need to drill this out for the mounting fastener. There's no grommets in here for this butt pad, but I have these. I happen to have them in stock. I'm going to shove in there and see if it works. This thing's not fitting very well at all. Uh, I'm not a big fan of these solo seat things. They seem like such such an afterthought. They look kind of neat, I guess. But uh, I don't like the way they mount. I have this one that goes on my 83. I took it off because I don't like it. That one that has been repaired, I'm going to have to give it some curvature here to fit around the seat a little bit better. It's not fitting well at all. When you choose this option and you install these brackets, these solo seat cowl brackets, you essentially ruin a seat. Besides having to drill a hole to screw it in here, these brackets dig into the seat material here. This is an old seat. It's not in the best condition. It's not perfect at all, but it works. Yeah, I just keep filing and test fitting. Not to take too much off because I can't put it back, can I? Here I thought I was going to just take this uh, nice 84 bodywork and plop it on there so I could actually ride this thing. So I put that tank on here, put the side panels on, and I'm still trying to fit this solo, solo tail thing on here. And it looks okay, but I have this. I just don't like these things. This seat with the solo seat brackets in here worked perfect on my 83 with that solo tail. It's not working on this one. Not yet. Not just yet. I think I'm about ready to give up on this piece, which would mean I'm not going to put this 84 bodywork on this thing at all. Uh, I can't get any of this stuff lined up right. This thing is way off. I don't know how I can correct that. And even when I do, if I push that thing over there, this thing gets all whacked out right down here. I don't know. The other thing is, uh, I like to check, or check, I like to fill my oil tank up after every ride. To fill the oil tank up on this, using one of these, you'd have to disassemble all this stuff. Take this off, take the seat off, put the oil in, then put the seat back on and put this junky thing back on. I'm not digging this at all. I just put this 83 solo piece on here and it goes on much easier. It aligns back here. It's not perfect. It's much, much closer. So I think that uh, that part over there I think is a little tweaked out. I came out here today intent on abandoning this bodywork project, but I persisted a bit. Still, I still don't have it perfect, but. It's looking pretty good. Uh, I had to do a bunch of filing. 
had to take more material out of on both sides here and enlarge the holes, the two screw holes a little bit. You can see here, after I put the tie wraps on, yeah, I'm not going to leave clear or white tie wraps on there. I'll turn them into black. It's still uneven, but I think I can live with it if I get some nice uh, molding for that thing. I have this stuff. I don't know where the heck I got it from. I tried to put it on there, but it, it doesn't take the bends very well. Plus, uh, if you look at the profile, it's very thin. This stuff is much thicker and more robust. I'm going to try to find something like this. I don't know if they use heat on this for it to take these bends or if it's just glued on there. Here's the trim material I bought off of Amazon. Oh, what a surprise. It's made in China. A friend of mine said he tried this same exact stuff and it wouldn't work. The goal is to put it on the back end of this thing. Seems like it's going on okay. It's hurting my thumbs. Putting a lot of pressure on it. I don't know. So far so good. It looks decent. This part is well hidden. So I'm not concerned about the texture on this thing showing up. There's a little bit of inconsistency left to right here, but it's in the plastic tail, not in the way I pushed it on. Now I need to figure out how to cut this stuff. I don't know if it has metal inside of it. Yes, it has metal in it. So I just tried to cut it with a razor blade unsuccessfully. So, I don't know what I'm going to use. A little cutoff wheel or something? Need to do a, a second trim on this side. kind of did what you don't want to do. I came up a little short on this side. But I'm going to put it on and see how it looks. I had to put the side panels on to test fit the solo cowl. But I think they're going to hold up fine. I think everything's looking pretty good. Um, it's a little offset on the back here, but it's not that bad. I can live with it.